Now, I was going to jump straight into uh, making the tier list where you have these two boxes, not sponsored by this company, but I've used them before for stuff. They actually send uh, really good stuff from different countries around the world, okay? Snack crate, all right? It's all based on UK chocolate, and I want to make a tier list because if there's one thing I do love, it's chocolate. And uh, I had my fair share of it when I was a kid, and I think myself and Nogla especially are uh, good taste, good judges on what is good chocolate. So you ever find yourself either getting one of these kind of boxes or something like that where you go to this our part of the world, Ireland or England, even Canada has a lot of this stuff. Um, we will tell you uh, what to avoid and what to have. A lot of you will probably disagree with me. That's fine. That's fine. You can totally fight with me. Um, but I don't care. I love my chocolate and I will stand by my list. If you disagree with my list, feel free to make your own list and tweet them at me. All right, let's open it up. Again, this is not sponsored. Snack Cray, if you want to sponsor me, reach out. Uh, the UK. Really, this is also Ireland. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. I hate nuts. Just know now, anything with nuts ain't gonna do well. It ain't gonna do well. It's just not. I don't like nuts in my mouth. I don't like nuts in my mouth. You heard me. I don't like it. it doesn't do anything for me. Especially one, not nuts that big. I don't like nuts in my mouth. Gonna be hard for me to... <laughs> hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to putting some of these nuts in my mouth. Uh, I'm gonna start off with something that I love. Fudge. And this bad boy is God tier. Whenever at Christmas time, there's a celebrations chocolate thing. For some reason, I seem to be the only one that loves fudge. These are always first on my list. I can't explain why they're so good. It's just chocolate with a little bit of fudge. And it is amazing. I'll put this aside. I will eat that one later. Fudge. The greatest. Okay, now for a bit of struggling. Fruit and nuts. Not for me. And I will tell you, I have never tasted a picnic bar in my life. Why? Because I hate nuts. First time ever trying a picnic bar. It's like a lion bar, but not good. Oh! Oh, I did not like that. Okay. Okay, Star Bar. Same thing. It's gonna have nuts in it. I guess just nuts. This is gonna be just nuts. No, no raisins. I just don't get the flavor. I just don't understand it. Rub some chocolate on them titties. Really? Here we go. Star Bar. This is a Maro bar? This tastes like a Maro bar. This is basically a Maro bar with peanuts. In terms of nuts, Star Bar goes mid. I would go with, because that tastes like a Maro bar. And I don't know if they make Maro anymore, but that whole flavor is definitely Maro with nuts. Not the worst. Not the worst. Okay, now, my brother's favorite chocolate bar. Time out. Uh, Time Out is just basically a very light chocolate bar. Wafer, chocolate. It is absolutely delightful with a cup of tea. Just have a cup of tea. You Normally, your mom would have like a few of these in uh, the fridge. In like a multi-pack. It's just, it's just wafer. Now, the problem with it, it goes mid-tier. It goes mid-tier for the reason that it's just too easy to eat. Like it's gone in a second. It's nice, but there's no longevity to it, okay? Flavor and longevity. You'll pay full price on this guy. It's a nice, it's a very nice way for chocolate, but it just, it's gone as quick as you started. Okay, next one. Flake. Oh my. One business idea that I've always wanted to do is open up an ice cream machine company. Ice cream van. <laughs> My dad used to be an ice cream man in England, in London. Uh, he had, him and his friends had a bunch of ice cream vans and they do all the rounds around London and made a good bit of money. They had like their own little gang of ice cream men. Flakes and ice cream are the perfect, ooh. It's the perfect companionship. For some reason in America, you love your freedoms. You love your freedoms here in America. 
like every single ice cream store has a hundred million different options for your ice cream. Whereas you come back to our neck of the woods and really speaking, all you need is ice cream with some chocolate flake. That's called the 99. It's the staple. It's brilliant. It's so simple. Life is so much easier, but not in America where everyone has to have their rights. I want to identify as a lampshade. That's fine. I also want to have cereal with my ice cream. Okay, you do you, Billy. Back in my world, a little bit simple. Life revolves around a bit of a flake. It's just flaky chocolate meshed around, bit of air in the middle. It's super light. On its own, kind of dog shit. Not gonna lie. No one really goes to the shop and wants to buy a flake. It needs ice cream. But... It tastes fucking delightful. But it crumbles and melts away so quickly. It too likes a timeout. You can't have much of a timeout, actually, now that I think about it. Your timeout is like a minute long. It's gone. Oh, man. It's so close to being top tier. It's mid-tier. For the fact that it needs ice cream. It needs ice cream. Trust me. Next one. We have to go with a banger. Crunchy. This one, really speaking, I don't even need to eat it. I wanted to make an ice cream company with Marcel. His dad was an ice cream man. My dad was an ice cream man. Fourth of July. It's a bomb this pop. Is, My dad is, used to sell these on his ice cream truck. You had an ice cream truck? Yeah, he, he sold bombs. Oh, he, he had awesome. like, he, he did had you have a bucks. dad? Did, did you have to pay? <laughs> <a> f <laughs> you. <laughs> and I wanted to call it like, you know, black and white, something black and white ice cream. The cream of, we'll work on that one. We'll work on that one. Well, crunchy. So the stream didn't see anything. <laughs> but that OBS has it. So that, in the video, you guys saw everything. But, <laughs> but my stream... Oops. <laughs> eh. Well, shit. Fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay. Next up, crunchy. Let's do that again. Crunchy. What crunchy is, is honeycomb with chocolate on the top. The thing about honeycomb is, it has longevity. It gets stuck in the teeth. It slowly melts away. The flavor is sensational. Honeycomb with chocolate, fresh out of the fridge. The advert for a crunchy bar back in the day was God tier. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. So excited. Ooh, and I just can't hide it. Just every time you heard the Crunchy Bar ad, you were just so happy. God tier. God tier. God tier chocolate. Crunchy Bar is God tier. Now, double dick. Double decker. Double decker. Okay? What's better than one dick? Two dicks. Double decker, um, I've had maybe twice in my life. I know it's quite thick. The inside of it is quite, um, it, 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 it's hard to bite through. Stop talking about dicks in my chat. You're making my wording of this very, I'm trying to choose my words carefully. Okay. Oh, it's not as thick as I remember. They could have changed the recipe. It's like a thick. Oh no. What's the N word for the inside of chocolate? Oh, of Mars bars. I'm not saying it because, okay, new, I'll say it the incorrect way. I pronounce it a more French way. Like it rhymes with new la. New. New la, okay? I pronounce it that way because that's the correct way to say it, all right? But you can be safe and say new git. Uh, it's kind of a new git uh, with some kind of crispy balls. It's all right. It's a very mid-tier one. It's it's kind of cusping on low tier to me. <sighs> I just... It takes a while to eat it. I just don't think it's worth. I just... It never did it for me. Yeah, no, I can't put it in the same tiers as these. This one, I'm surprised, was better than I was expecting. So I have to give respect to Nuts for Star Bar. But really speaking, Star Bar would be down on this list of things that I just wasn't into. But for the sake of representing the Nut people... Uh, Star Bar is up there. Okay, uh, let me pick off some things that I don't have here that are 
that are amazing. Uh, caramel, top tier. Top tier, right out of the fridge. I don't think it's in the god tier. I just don't think it's there. It's so good, but the problem is the caramel has gotten smaller and smaller and smaller over years. Now it's just not enough caramel. It used to be a lot more. It used to be god tier. Caramel now, because the company have gotten cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, they give you less caramel. But it still tastes so good. Aero chocolate? We don't have aero chocolate. We have tw twirl chocolate. Or orange, sorry. Aero orange. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's mid. It's mid. Actually, it could be there. It's there. It's orange. It's, it's not incredible. Aero mint is god tier. And then aero normal is just mid tier. Aero Mint is one of the greatest... If you're in Canada, you know what I mean. If you're American, somehow find a Canadian distributor and get, get Aero Mint. It is the best. Put it in the fridge, and then once it clicks, when it's cold enough and it snaps off, and you bite into it, it's all bubbly. The chocks, hence the bubbles there. It just melts in your mouth, all the bubbles. Uh, yeah, so Aero Mint, top tier. Absolutely top. This guy isn't here. This is Kinder Chocolate. Now, this is controversial, but I'm going to say it's top tier. Some people might say it's god tier. The reason why it's only top tier, these f***ing things are too small. You, do you know how many of these I go through? An insane amount, and they're quite expensive on their own, singles. They're small. Like, they're smaller, they're smaller than the fudge bar. The fudge bar is small. These guys are about the same length that actually is the fudge bar, but they're so easy. It is one of the greatest, but it just, if it was a bit bigger, it could be up there in God tier. You just, you go, you will power through about like six of them in, I would say five minutes. Uh, Toffee Crisp is not here. Unfortunately, Toffee Crisp is top tier. On the cusp of God tier, but it's just a little bit low. Toffee Crisp, amazing. Fries, peppermint cream, it's mid. It's very mid. It's a lot of cream. It's chocolate with a creamy, minty center. It's nothing compared to Aero. It's creamy. The chocolate isn't incredible. It's mid. It's all right. Milky Way. I gotta put it. I gotta put it. I gotta put a god tier. I have to. They're small, but it's Milky Way. Now, here's the thing. Milky Way in America tastes like, I think, a Mars bar. Now, this is UK Milky Way. This is big. This has to be said. American Milky Way is terrible. Irish and English Milky Way is insanely good. I can't emphasize the contrast in flavor. Three Musketeers is good. Wait till you taste the Milky Way. Milky Way is like a creamy fluff. It's, it's, I can't explain it. It's just so much better. It is a god tier small chocolate bar. Uh, twirl. Do I have twirl? I have twirl orange. How about I do twirl orange? And we'll just we'll just say it's the same. We'll say it's the same. It's just like a flake with chocolate. Okay, so it should be in the same level. I would put it in the exact same level of a flake mid tier. But with orange, let's see. Oh my. This is a Terry's Chocolate Orange. Uh, I love Terry's Chocolate Orange. Terry's Chocolate Orange is one of the greatest. If that was in this list, it's straight up to God tier. Except the problem with Terry's Chocolate Orange comes in a, an orange, like a ball, shaped like an orange. And then they split off in like slices of orange shape. It's all chocolate with like an orange oil. Uh, that's goddamn good. Now, Whisper Gold. Whisper used to be a chocolate bar. I would... I would give my mom a Whisper Mint, not Whisper Gold. I have fond memories of going down to my local spa in Turnier in Dublin, and my order was to get my mom either a packet of King Crisps or a Whisper, a Mint Whisper. But this one has caramel in it, and I can't remember if it's good. So I'll shut up and I'll eat. Oh, that bubble. It's bubbly. Wow, <laughs> whispers are so good. They always fill me cum. Pleat joy when I eat them. Bro, you just ruined my nostalgic moment of whip. My mom, man.
I literally just talked about my mom. I had it reminds me of my mom, and then you say that, you go and say that. What is wrong with you? Yeah, amazing whisper. The whisper original one and mint top tier gold. A little bit less, still tastes great. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna mark some that aren't here. Fries. Uh, Kit Kat Chunky is not here. Uh, Kit Kat is top tier. Toblerone! Fight me. Fight me. Fight me on Toblerone. Toblerone can suck my balls. It's snobby. It's bullshit. Overpriced. Go in the airport. Buy it overpriced as a gift when you're coming home from a, a, a holiday in the Alps or a holiday from Spain or some bullshit and they get you Toblerone. It doesn't even taste that great. I don't care and it's full of nuts. And also when you bite it, the next slice, the next triangle goes up your nose. It bent my nose. That is a Toblerone related accident. Okay, it bent my goddamn nostrils. But you know what else is bottom tier? No, I'll actually put it low tier. I don't get it. Halloween, we had a little big, we had a big bag of chocolates for, for all the kids. No one wants, no one really wanted the Snickers. I don't know why people like act like it's amazing. It's, it's not. It's a Mars bar with some nuts and Mars bar would be mid, between mid and top tier. I guess it has nuts. And also when I say it, I'm afraid of being uh, canceled. Okay, I don't get it, don't like it. Right, and you know what else is bottom tier? Dark chocolate. Every single Christmas again. I'm autistic. I think. <sighs> uh, Bourneville, Bourneville dark chocolate. It is absolute dog crap. It was always at the bottom of the Christmas tin when you had roses. Uh, everyone, never, no one ate Bourneville. It sucks. I don't know how they're still a thing. I don't know why Cadbury's keep Bourneville as a thing. It's dark chocolate. It's just very bitter. No one likes it. It's terrible. Do you know what else is also absolute bottom tier? Let's add up. Let's add into the bottom tier. This shit. Dame. Damn bar. Dame bar. I don't, I don't get it. I never understood this bar. It was just hard. And the chocolate with like a, a hard caramel or a hard something. I don't know what it was. I hated it. It made no sense to me. Terrible. And do you know what else is bottom tier and deserves... To never see the light of day or anyone's taste buds ever again. Bounty. Let me let me let me let me say something here. If you like coconut, you're a fucking weirdo. I will say that again. If you enjoy coconut, chocolate, coconut flavor, anything, you're weird. In my eyes. Straight away, red flag. Coconut, red flag. I don't get it. Fight me. Okay. Kit Kat, up, up there with top tier. It's top tier, it's Kit Kat. Also, who relates to this one? Sometimes you would get a mistake made in the Kit Kat factory and you get a full finger with no wafer, just the chocolate. The chocolate that they use for the Kit Kat is amazing. It's amazing. No, I wouldn't put a God tier. I wouldn't put a God tier. Some of these, man, really make my pee pee go, you know, a certain way. Kit Kat, it, it, ting it tingles down there, but it doesn't finish the job. Chomp. Oh, this again is right here. Chomp is a little bit like fudge in the sense that it's kind of a smaller bar. Oh, boy, it's so good. I'm gonna go top. I'm gonna go God tier. It's, it's, a, it's like a fudge caramel. It's a little bit harder. Um than a caramel. It was the flavor of the chocolate. It's just so good. But do you know what? Chocolate, there's like a rarity level. It's like Pokemon cards. There's a certain rarity. Fudge you didn't always get. Chomp you didn't always get. I had a lot of Kit Kats because of my lunch. My mom would give me two finger. Uh, let me, uh, let me, 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 let me. My mom, for my lunch, would put in my lunchbox um, a normal sized Kit Kat chocolate bar that includes two, 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 half of this guy. This guy has four fingers. I, for, for my school lunch, I would get two of them. So I had a lot of them in my life. So that's why it became more common. And that's why it's top tier. 
I didn't have Chomp a lot. I didn't have Fudge a lot. But when I did, by God, did they slap. They fucking slapped. All right, let's swiftly move on. Uh, I already see another God tier. Crunch. Right up there and back down to low tier. I don't get Crunch. If really speaking, I'm contemplating putting it here. I will put it low tier because I could eat the whole thing, but I don't enjoy it. If someone gave it to me, I'd eat it. Crunch is the most mediocre, and it's not even getting into mid. It's just low. It's just not good. It's just not good. The, the flavor of the of the biscuit or the uh, crispy, rice crispy things on the inside, just not good. Uh, you can say mid, I would say low. It's low. Let's fill it. Let's even things out here, okay? We have a lot of a lot of stuff here. The bottom tier needs some company. And I I'm snapping this one so goddamn quick, Turkish delight. Crap. Whoopers? Whoppers? Have you ever had a Malteser? Why are Maltesers not in here? Maltesers are god. They're they're god tier. They're god they're straight up there. Maltesers. The whoopers, the Maltesers in in America, they're called whoopers or whoppers or whatever. They're terrible. Dud balls or something balls, they're crap. I hate the whoppers, whoopers, whatever they're called. They're terrible. They're insulting. Dairy milk. We're going to use this as this guy, which is the dairy milk. It's some, it's just popping candy and chocolate. Um, I don't know. Um, this has like Smarties or M&Ms in the middle. Uh, kind of chewy. Jelly popping candy. Um, oh my god. It's like a chewy... What the... Are those jelly beans? There's like M&Ms and jelly beans in the chocolate. No. No. Let me burn through the ones that aren't here. Ripple. Um, is very mid. Topic. Had it once, didn't like it. Low tier. Hazelnut or whatever. If you like nuts, then put it in your mouth. You love it. It's probably mid tier at most. Mars bar, which is not here. This one could be controversial. It's mid. It's it's good. It's not great. It's like a it's like a happy staple. If I got a Mars bar, I'll be I'll be happy. Oh I have a Mars bar. It's not what I'm seeking out when I go to the store. It's it's mid. It's fine. It's a good chocolate bar. It is a very good chocolate bar. But when you have a Mars bar, you don't think I want to have another one. Why not, you stupid bastard? Fudge, I want to have another one. Crunchy, I want to have another one. Arrow, definitely. Milky Way, I want to have multiple. Chomp, I want to have about five more of them. Whisper, same, I'd have another one. Same with these, I'd be even contemplating another one. Yorkie. This this chocolate bar was great for the fact that it was so controversial. It was literally branded as a man's chocolate bar and women weren't allowed to eat it. <laughs> it was the most base chocolate bar of all time. And for that reason, uh, it's just going to stay mid. As a chocolate bar itself, it's very mid. It's just chocolate. Uh, dairy milk, great chocolate. Very mid tier. Great chocolate though. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my all time favorites... Do you know what? It actually goes here. Caramac, Caramac, Caramac. It's literally, it's a chocolate that's not just flavored caramel, but like it literally looks like a caramel chocolate. I, I, it's just the best. It's amazing. If you can get Caramac, if you can get your hands on Caramac, you will thank me. It's discontinued as well, I think. Don't say that. Don't fucking say that. Don't break my heart. If you can somehow on the black market get Caramac. I think, yeah, they changed it to Caramilk. I think Dairy Milk, Cadbury's have it and it's called uh, Caramilk. Now, I don't know if it tastes the same as this one, but this, this chocolate, you know what it reminded me of? The structure of it was very much like Hershey, white Hershey, but just Hershey chocolate, like thin, but the shape of it, the thinness of each like rectangle of the chocolate, it's like thin. And it tastes so good. Lime bar. There's only one place for a lime bar. Just... It's just mid. Just kidding! It's one of the greatest of all time! Lime bar is god tier. 
Lime Bar is God tier. If anyone starts fighting me or whatever, it was a joke. Lime Bar is one of my all-time favorites. It's chocolate with caramel and this nice wafer and Rice Krispie in the chocolate as well. And it's just a, it's just the perfect bar. It has the longevity. It has the flavor. It has so much going on. And it all in perfect harmony. Line bar. Amazing. I'm just getting turned on just looking at the wrapper. I kind of regret what I just said because I was going to bring up my mom. <laughs> a lot of weird sentences happening. Um, but you remember I said my mom would send me to the shop to get a packet of King Crisps or else a line bar. Her, her choice was mint, mint whisper or a line bar. And so I loved, the two of us loved lime bars. It was our little, our little horrible little evil relationship, hiding it from like other people in the family. She'll send me off, kind of like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, sneak me some money and tell me to run off and grab her a bar. And we'd eat it in secret, away from everyone. Because they'd be like, where's my chocolate bar? Yeah, lime bar. Beautiful memories. And it's just such a great chocolate bar. Twix. It's just God tier. Oh, have you ever had Twix with an ice cream? What I used to do was I'd get Twix. i get vanilla ice cream, put it in a bowl. Then I would get Twix, two fingers of Twix, and I'd get a knife. And I'd cut them up into like, make my own little McFlurry. Little, little bits of Twix, chuck it in there, spin it around. Let the caramel kind of harden from, from being cold. And enjoy it. Curly Whirly. Curly Whirly. Very mid. It's like twirly thing of absolute godness. Curly Whirly is god tier. It's with the fudge. It's with the chomp. These are these luxury rare items. Curly Whirly was a god tier chocolate. I love it. If you don't like Curly Whirly, there's something wrong with you. It was the most childish caramel curled hard caramel thing. The chocolate tasted great. And I didn't have a huge amount of them, so they go right in God tier. I love my curly whirlies. Milky bar. It's right on the cusp. It has to it has to go top tier. It has to go top tier. It's the only white chocolate. White chocolate is just great. Now down to these. These are the last ones that we have. This guy. Like, I don't even need to taste it. It goes right, right here. It goes in top tier. Boost has this lovely texture to it. Fuck yeah. When I got into this guy in like the summer of 2002, there was a soccer su summer camp I was doing. And I tried Boost for the first time and I was like, wow. Mmm. The longevity. All the flavors. All 10, ten was it all 10,000 taste buds? Cover all 9,000 taste buds. Mmm. Amazing. Great texture. Can't even explain what the inside is like. It's just... Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'll put this mm, about there. Yeah, I think that's fair. This one is interesting. These aren't chocolate. This isn't chocolate. I didn't I didn't know it was going to be other things. Chew it's I ate a lot of. You guys have Starburst in America, don't you? Right? And like a Starburst. So it's a bit smaller. But these ones are the extreme sour ones. If there's something I love. Sour. I love sour. Sour, um, these are great. Amazing. Chew it's you should get strawberry flavored chew it's normal chew it's every single thing this company released for chew it's amazing. Uh Vimto. Vimto Chew Bar. This is an English company, Vimto. Um we didn't really have Vimto in Ireland, but we would have things like refresher bars, wham bars, uh bruiser bars. It's just like a laffy taffy bar. Just fruity. I've never had this one, but I've eaten so many of these as a kid. Um, but this one is low tier. There's not much flavor going on. That is, that is disappointing. Yeah, I'd rather eat nuts than that. Speaking of which, dairy milk, fruit, and nuts. I think my sister's like fruiting up. All right. Oh, God damn, what? I need to think before I talk. They used to like this chocolate bar. 
And I didn't like, I didn't get, I don't get, I don't get nuts. Look at that, look, fucking Brazil nut or some fucking nut. I just don't get it. I don't get why you guys like it. Oh, I need to wash- I need to wash that shit out of my mouth. Perfect time! For the pride of Scotland! I'm bruh! Now, how do I reflect this in comparison to chocolate? It's- it's a soda. How do you explain the flavor? It's- it's the taste of metal. Iron workers. And it's just- it's amazing. It's just so delightful. I don't even know what the flavor is. I don't think anyone knows what the flavor is. Yeah, it goes top tier. It's not chocolate, but in terms of drinks, it's it's top tier. Now, next thing I see is this Oreo Socola pie. What? I love how this is supposed to be an English one, and it's got <sighs> that looks like Vietnamese. Anyone see that language? Vietnam. There it is. Like Zhuangzi, Vietnam. I got it. Geo guesser, Geo guesser paid off. Uh, it's Oreo, but I'm guessing strawberry in the center. It's like a little a chocolate birthday cake with like a strawberry center. Yeah, the strawberry line is like a, it's like a fairy cake. Um, sponge. It's, it's good mid. Shout out to Vietnam. Well done. Well done, you lot. Okay, so Freddo is like a childhood staple. As a kid, I remember these were like 5p or 10p. Something really cheap. Now they're- how much are they in the shop? It's like over a dollar. Like, uh, over a euro. So I'm giving you American prices. But man, Freddo- Fred has gotten skinny. This guy used to be- he had more- he had like a belly going on. Back in the day, he was a bit more girthy. They've definitely put him on a slimming program. My god, this has gotten much smaller. Fredo is a low tier, a low end top tier. The caramel version is god tier. It's on the cusp of mid to top. Buttons. I don't need to eat these. They're god tier. Put them in the fridge. Buttons. Their name transcends chocolate. It's cho it's just it's they're buttons. They're buttons. Get them. Okay, I'm not sponsored by these chocolate companies. I wish I was. This would be the greatest job in the world. Hula hoops. Now, this one is a little unfair. Hula hoops. There's different flavors. There's original. There's um, uh, I think there's like a cheese and onion one. There's the barbecue one, but I was a basic ass bitch. I love hula hoops, but just the normal version. These barbecue are still good. They're still good. But I would take a normal bag over these any day. These are middle of the road. We have really good, amazing crisps. Amazing crisps. The crisps are so much better in the UK and Ireland. Dead America. Like, so, so much better. All right, I have high hopes for Space Raiders. These are very similar to Banshee Bones. These would be the spice, I think this is like the same company. There's Banshee Bones and then there's Ghosties. Oh my God, if someone was able to get me a packet of Ghosties. Ghosties were like my favorite. All right, these are spicy. Um, these are like less good hot lips. Um, very mid. Very mid. I would eat the whole pack, no problem. Hot lips, I used to eat the shit out of hot lips. What the f*** is hot lips? Oh, bro, hot lips were so good. And someone said, why is- why are Snickers so low? I hate nuts. This is my list, okay? Make all your own lists, and then you can tweet them at me. 
Right. This next one at Savers... Whatever this is. Saver Smith's Christmas... Christmas ham with umami truffle glaze. Luxurious hand-cooked British snacks with style. These are bougie, bougie crisps. Oh, they don't look half bad. Um, apparently, they're Christmas ham flavor, which I'm guessing that's a mushroom truffle glaze. That is surprisingly better than what I was thinking. Uh, I put it on the higher end of mid. Like, it's good. Like, I'm not disappointed with it. Now, sour cream and onion and stuff, flavors like that. Top tier. That one. Nice surprise. This bad boy. I had so much of this shit as a kid. I don't know if you guys have realized how good of a flavor crisps are when they're pickled onion. Pickled onion stuff was amazing. Meanies as well. They're pretty similar to meanies. Still good. Again, I would do the pickled onions as mid-tier. I know I'm making it sound way better than what it is, but I'm thinking of meanies. If there were meanies, which is similar to Monster Munch, they're top tier. For sure. Top tier. The flavor on this is much weaker. The beef, the beef Monster Munch is definitely in top tier. I think I'm done. They're crunchies. They're caramels. And this is a fucking Oreo. We know what Oreo tastes like. Or, you know, whatever. Okay. That's the list. That's official. If anyone is in England or Ireland and wants to fight me on this, even if you're in America and you have some of these, fight me. Show me on Twitter. Go, go to town. Show me your list. I get it. Nuts. Nuts are going to be taken into, you know, I guess the equation. Probably going to be scattered around. The nut ones, I'm very biased because... I hate nut. I hate it. I never got it, never understood it, never liked it. I'm super biased. I get that. Everything else, I'm pretty happy with. I think my logic is sound. And yeah, that's about it. See you.